Right here, right now, is an absolute dream come true. Here I stand, having just married the most incredible man I could have ever hoped for, um, in front of... <laughs> in front of our very favourite people, uh, a lot who have travelled a ridiculous way, not just in distance, but in uncertainty too. Um, just to be part of the most special day of our lives, um, to say we are grateful would be an absolute understatement. From Australia to Canada, to Denmark, to Sweden, to all over England, uh, from the bottom of my heart, thank you for being here. It means more than you could possibly know. Ladies and gentlemen, mates and sheilas, let's raise our glasses to celebrate the union of Willow and our lovely bride Claire. Today we have the pleasure of witnessing a beautiful cross-cultural love story, a tale of romance that transcends borders, accents and cricket rivalries. Being married to an Aussie has taught me a lot about a wonder the wonderful country that is Australia. From the importance of Tim Tams and Vegemite, to the joy of hearing a kookaburra's laugh in the morning. And while here are some cultural differences between the Aussies and the rest of the world, I found that those differences only make life more interesting and exciting. I think I speak on behalf of Welshie and the bridesmaids that it's been an absolute honour to have been asked and to be a part of this special day. Uh, I wish you both the happiest of marriages together and I look forward to spending many, many memories with you both. Ladies and gentlemen, would you all be up standing and raise a glass to the bride and groom, Mr and Mrs Oswald Wilson. So it was a Sunday night in a buzzing Aussie beach pub and a girl met a boy. They hit it off initially, but as weeks went on, Claire developed the ick. Some people develop the ick if their date checks out another person or if their date talks all about themselves. But our beloved Claire, no, she developed the ick because our Adam tucked his shirt into his board shorts. The horror! That night, after politely letting her date know it wasn't going to work, she came home and told me, where I promptly told her in disbelief, you could have just thrown away the love of your life. But she told me, I doubt it. So I'd like to formally take this moment in front of you all to bear witness, friends and family. Claire, I told you so. So please all join me in raising a glass to the best thing Claire has ever been wrong about. Cheers. Soon it will be hello, I've missed you, I'm so glad you're home. Soon you won't be there, instead you'll be here. And all the aching moments I haven't had your hand calmly sitting in mine will all but disappear as our fingers entwine. Soon I will probably cry <laughs> the moment you arrive, just like I did the first time. And it fills me with happiness to know you are all mine. Soon, I will whisper to you, you are forever the name stitched into my heart. All day, every day, all night and every night. You're incredible. You're more special than you'll ever know. Could not be prouder to call you my wife. What you've done here today in terms of everything that's on your tables and everything that's hung up like, is just ridiculous. I thank you for making me smile. Thank you for allowing me to be my weird content and present self. Thank you for being your crazy, amazing and fun-loving self. Thank you for being you and loving me for me. You are a true lady and an amazing lover. Uh, I hope there are plenty more adventures to come. Um, so with all of that being said, raise your glasses to what I hope you will agree has been the best day so far. Um, we're just getting started, but to my wife, 